Kanye and Kim. Sure. Uh, you know, I felt it was kind of, you know, in the beginning it was somewhat funny seeing him just post all the stuff about Kim and Pete Davidson and everything else like that. But as it's beginning to drag on, he's really, really terrorizing this it's, woman it's never online. Been funny. It's never been funny. Well, you know, I mean, he put like the, the Marvel posters. So I, I found it kind of amusing. I mean, there's definitely a comedy slant to what he was doing at one point. But then it's like, all right, you're telling people to, you know, they want to beat up Pete Davidson, you know, got him in a chokehold. He's reposting all these text messages. It's like 20 posts a day. I just, I just never, the difference between him and the other dude that get restraining orders on them, on them is hundreds of millions of dollars. Right, because he bought a house across the street That's not, from her house. Th listen, I don't, I think that I've watched too many times where things like that happen and a woman or somebody's not believed. And then things escalate. Yeah. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. I don't mm. think it's funny. I think that you can't write a beat so good that you get to do these things. And society laughs it off because they say, well, she showed her ass all the time and he's this and he's that and this that. At a certain point, it def it is not unusual for men like that. The, only, the only difference between him and a restraining order is about 20 hits and a couple of hundred million dollars. I just don't think it's funny. I think that, that that Kanye wouldn't get no pussy at all if he didn't write no hits. You know that. Like, he's not the kind of dude. <laughs> you don't, like, he counts on the shit that he, this mystique. Right. And in the end, she got just as much bread as she as she did. Yeah. And, and why talk to him? Pete Davidson is a scribe. Like, I don't get what the point is of threatening him. Like, if, if you if you threatening the dude that's fucking your woman, all he gonna do is fuck her harder. <laughs> like, like. All he gonna do is <laughs> right. tell and you, she, and she chose him. Obviously, it's enough. Now I feel he's not. He's not forcing himself on this woman. I, and 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 here's here's what else. She divorced Kanye. She said, "I've had enough." And who with four kids? At a that must have been a very long decision because it's like there's four kids involved. Well, four kids when you on so public assistance is a lot different than four kids <laughs> when you got half a billion. Dollars. Right. But at any point, I think any woman wants to have her nuclear family together. And mm -hmm. I think that when a woman, like, look, you talk to a dude that's been married 37 years, and I know my woman has had enough of me at times, right? I get right. it. I understand right. that. And I would want my family. I understand that, too. But if you want your family, stop doing the shit you did that made her leave. Right, which is what you're doing more of. How about take your medicine? Just <laughs> You know what? <laughs> all, that, all that wild shit you were doing that got her, be different. I'm going to be normal. <laughs> I'm just going to take my medicine and see the fucking world right and stop doing the crazy shit that exhausted her. That's that, right. At a certain point, when you get in your 40s, when a woman gets in her 40s and you get in your 40s, all that shit that was fun is exhausting. Fucking, you know what? How about that crazy? Be normal. I'm going to be a dude that takes care of my family, that, that has a good time with my woman, that drop my kids off. Mm -hmm. And I can do all my crazy shit on the album. You can't threaten a motherfucker and then drop off a truck, <laughs> a truckload of roses, and think that's okay.